Protesters began chanting outside the court in Casablanca as soon as the verdict was announced, angered by the jailing of Nasr Zifzafi and 52 others. Zifzafi is the activist who led protests over economic and social issues in the Reef region of northern Morocco. He was sentenced to 20 years in prison. Today's verdict is a test for the Moroccan government and their record, their respect and commitment to international law and human rights, even its respect to the constitution itself. Judges in Casablanca sentenced dozens of activists, all part of a movement known as Haraka Shabi in Arabic, or popular movement, to jail terms. Supporters marched in solidarity with those they say are wrongfully imprisoned. It is a disgrace that they sentenced them this way. Why not go after the thieves in this country? Why not go after the criminals? Nasser Zafzafi was arrested in May last year and charged with, among other things, threatening national unity. Tensions have been simmering in Morocco, especially in the north, since October 2016, when a man was crushed to death in a garbage truck while trying to salvage fish which had been confiscated by police. Since the death of Mohsen Fikri, thousands have taken part in anti-government protests in the Reef region. They say they've long been marginalized and are demanding better access to health services and jobs. While the government accused some of the activists in the Reef region of being separatists, the Hirak movement insists its demands to end injustice, oppression and corruption are legitimate. Mohamed Jamjoum, Al Jazeera.